Hello guys, so I am finally reacting to a full episode of music videos from Jimmy Somerville. Well, technically, but it's actually a mixture of Bronski Beat, The Commune Arts, hope I said that correctly, and Solo Jimmy, but all Jimmy. Alright, we are starting off with Why by Bronski Beat, which I understand is a follow-up to Small Town Boy. Let's get into it. And immediately, I am in 80s synth pop heaven. Oh, the high notes. I'm sorry to pause so soon, but I must say, it's incredible to me how he can sing over this heavily produced electronic pop instrumentation, and his voice just cuts through like a knife. Love, love, love those horns. Insane. Oh my gosh. How long did he sustain that note? You know, I could continue to obsess over the production and Jimmy's vocals, but I'd be remiss if I didn't touch on the lyrics. I think they're very straightforward, and there's a reason for that. What's unfortunate is that this song lyrically is just as relevant today 
39 years later. But that aside, what I loved is that the song was based around a rhetorical question. Can you tell me why? It was so genius making the chorus just that one question. It kind of turned it from a question into a statement. Alright, next up we have the Communards with Don't Leave Me This Way featuring Sarah Jane Morris. Let's get into it. Continuing with the horns, and I'm happy about it. I can't even tell which one of them did that high note, but it was gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. As is the chorus and the background. Well, during the chorus. See that coming. Yeah, that's definitely my favorite so far. 
By the way, I forgot to mention my favorite part of Y was the bridge, hands down. And with Don't Leave Me This Way was the chorus. I feel like it got more infectious as the song progressed. And, of course, we had that amazing key change at the end, which I really did not see coming. I can usually predict a key change ahead of time, nine times out of ten, but they had me fooled. Also, I thought the two of them complemented each other very well vocally. All right, more commune arts. Never can say goodbye. I feel like we're just not going to leave the nightclub, and I'm fine with that. Plus, I get to sit down. It's already shaping up to be my favorite vocal performance of this group. Slides those high notes in like nothing. Also, love his wardrobe. Just when I think he can't shock me anymore with the high notes. So I recently reacted to a live performance of Jimmy's on my Patreon, and I mentioned in that video how rare it is for a male singer to sing in his falsetto so consistently, on top of having the incredible range. 
And not only is he consistent, he's pretty much singing these songs entirely in falsetto, which is why I make such a big deal about his tone. There's a lot of male vocalists who can hit ridiculous notes, but their tone just isn't <laughs> great, and they just sound like nails on a chalkboard. But Jimmy has the voice of an angel, and more importantly, he knows how to use it, which is why he's quickly become one of my favorite singers ever. Anywho, lastly, we have Jimmy's cover of Sylvester's You Make Me Feel Mighty Real. Let's get into it. Absolutely. Does he not realize Jupiter was just flying at his head? That's concerning. Sylvester in the music video. And I, oh, actually, that's <laughs> just where I wanted to pause. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's Harvey Milk. If I'm wrong about that, I understand if you all feel the need to revoke my gay card, but I think I'm right. <laughs> I think I'm right. actually obsessed with those silver pants. Or are they chrome? I don't know, but I love them. crater. Well, looks like I spoke too soon. Jimmy seemingly tired it himself out, and uh, 
I guess he just lost consciousness and fell into the crater. I feel like he brought the energy and the queer joy that is required to even approach that track. I say that as if I'm Sylvester. I've never even stepped foot in a club, but you guys know what I mean. Favorites. Well, that's difficult because I thoroughly enjoyed all four of those tracks, but I guess my initial favorites would have to be Don't Leave Me This Way and Never Can Say Goodbye. Although that's pretty much subject to change on a daily basis. <laughs> But You Make Me Feel Mighty Real was easily my favorite music video. Loved his dance moves and the fact that he paid his respects to people who I'm assuming he looked up to. You know, I thought it would be impossible, but I feel like Jimmy just made me a little bit gayer. Love that for me. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more. I love you all and I will see you in the next one. Bye!